there welcome back to a brand new studio vlog i just finished packing up um sticker orders and now i am going to package up this painting to ship to its new owner <sighs> i'm so thankful that she found a home it's going to be hard to say goodbye to this painting i i don't know i just feel a connection to it um but anyways, I'm thinking that I will make this painting into some prints, maybe limited edition or um, I don't really know. I don't know yet, but I will probably make this into some prints soon and a, a vinyl sticker. Anyways, she is going to be off to Japan, which is crazy that one of my paintings are going to be halfway around the world. Um, I think I've only shipped paintings to Canada. So let's package her up and say goodbye. started this painting in September and finally it is done. It's always such a good feeling to finish a painting and I feel like a lot of that is because now I can start a new one. <laughs> Although I do work on two or three or four at a time. I still need to erase pencil marks because next to each mushroom I wrote down the name so I knew what kind of mushroom it is. And then yeah, I will probably put this in my shop uh, maybe next week or something. So right now, Sticker Mule today only is having a deal on their die cut stickers. And these stickers, the 3x3 
die cut stickers are usually what I order so I'm going to take advantage of this. This is a scan of my owl painting so yeah it's upside down <laughs> but I'm going to edit this in Photoshop and correct the colors and everything and then I'm going to make it into a sticker and order it through Sticker Mule. So yeah I'm going to do that now and work on some more computer work. Let's see what else do I have to do. So yeah, I finished this early so I have some extra room for today. So I'm going to design the stickers and I need to edit my free print, my new free print and put that up on my website. So that is going to be a butterfly print of these. So this is from my butterfly painting. These are just scans, they're not like edited or anything. So I'm going to edit these and make it into a new free print that has all four of these butterflies. So I'm going to do that today too. Lots of computer work. I just got the proof for the sticker. Let's approve it. Yay! I'm so excited for this sticker. Good morning! see Leo behind me looking out the window. Oh, it's another snowy winter day and I just received something in the mail. Um, oh, right here. And I want to unbox it and show you what it is. I'm so excited. If you really like um, my uh, insect paintings, like my butterfly paintings, um, my moths, then you would really like what's inside this box. So I'm going to unbox that and then we are going to start working on a brand new painting. So let's see what's inside this box. Look guys, there's like, she put like a really tiny little ladybug on the inside of the box. Isn't that so cute? So adorable. <laughs> okay, let's open the rest. This is so beautiful. I have to put this right by the window for better lighting to show you guys, but I'll first unpackage all of my frames I got. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so Wow, this is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Isn't it so gorgeous? So this is the little shop that I bought all of these framed butterflies from and I love her Instagram. It is just, I just love all of her photos and her creations. And she raises butterflies and moths and I just I love her stuff so um yeah I thought that I would show you what I got in case you are into um, this kind of stuff as I am so yeah let's get a closer look at these butterflies I wish I knew um, I wish I remember the names of these butterflies I'll have to look at her website and see what they are. I forget. I think this one's some kind of peacock butterfly. Oh, this one is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one is my favorite. <laughs> These are all so pretty. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now I like want to paint all of these butterflies. These three butterflies. I'm currently in the process of putting together an art wall that has framed butterflies like these and then some artwork with butterflies and moths and um, some of my artwork too. So that's kind of why I bought these. Maybe when I'm finished with that wall, I'll show you guys. 
I just spent the remainder of the morning um, sketching out my next painting. And then I had some lunch and now I'm going to transfer this um, sketch onto my watercolor paper with some transfer paper. It's going to be a rabbit, of course, <laughs> with um, some flowers. I have some tulips and then just some simple flowers down here. I think these are going to be like white flowers and then greenery and some bumblebees. And I'm also thinking that this rabbit, I will have her be for the uh, painting challenge in March. And I have this frame here and it has glass. I just took it out. Um, but I'm thinking that I will frame this painting in this vintage frame. I think it'll go well together. I'm really excited. And I was going to use this frame for another painting, which is this one. Um, but I haven't worked on it for like a few months. I really need to finish it. So I think this painting will look better with this frame than this painting. At least that's what it seems like. Thank you. 
working on this painting. Obviously, that's what I have been doing. Um, and I thought that I would do a little paint and chat again, like the last vlog. So with this painting, I'm thinking that the background will be <clears throat> a dark background. I'm thinking like a dark blue or a dark like blue black color and yeah what do you guys think do you like that idea like a dark background to make all of this pop i kind of like that idea and yeah <laughs> i just, i told myself i wanted to like do a chat like this um but then it's kind of like i don't really know what i will talk about so I was thinking that um, I can start doing some Q&A's on these vlogs if you guys would like that. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to like answer your questions. Have like a little paint and Q&A session. So if you um, like that like that idea and if you have a question for me, then feel free to ask it in the comments. Anyways, and these tulips are supposed to be red. They're, I want them to be red, and it's, I feel like they kind of look pink. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how they turn out. So what I'm doing is that I am painting basically the whole painting except the background first, but um, I am going to leave out the details. So I'm just, I'm going to leave the details for when I have the background painted in, then I'm going to add the, like all the little details. So um, once I have like everything filled in and everything has color, I will then paint in the background and then add in the little details everywhere like um, on the on the rabbit and the tulips and stuff so that's kind of what I'm thinking for the greenery I want to use kind of like what I did with the owl painting um, in the last vlog I added bits of like brown and blue in them and yellow so it's each like greenery is a little different okay before I continue painting I want to share that I now have a free print download of this painting. So um, that, I set that up yesterday and it is now available as a free print download. So um, if you're interested in that, you can find the link in the description of this video. So that's exciting. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, um, for this painting, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not. But I'm thinking that this uh, painting, this rabbit here, will be for the March challenge. So um, if, you, if you're new here and you aren't aware, um, we, we are now doing a, like, every month we're doing a painting challenge. So, in, in this month, in February, it's a snowy owl. Where's my eraser? And, so next month in March, I think it'll be for this rabbit here. And you can... 
this is like one of, one of the things I struggle with with um, watercolor. I make my pencil marks really dark and sometimes they show through the paint. So I need, I'm like working on that. Anyways, um, so for March, I'm thinking that the painting challenge will be for this rabbit. And you can paint this painting like in your style or you you can just paint your like a rabbit um, with whatever you want like just a rabbit or a rabbit like I don't know with some other animal friends anything you want and um, And I'll provide like a reference photo. So, yeah. And speaking of challenge, painting challenges. Um, I lost what I was going to say. It's hard to talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> Oh, um, this owl challenge, the snowy owl painting challenge, that is going to be ending soon. So by the time this vlog comes out, you'll have about a week and a half left to participate. So, um, yeah, if you want to participate, um, I will link the video about the challenge in one of, like, the cards in this video, or... In the description of this video, you'll find it. I'm making these leaves kind of like loose. I don't want them to be like super detailed because I want the focus to be on the rabbit and maybe the flowers too. You can't even see what I'm painting. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. So I think... I'm first going, going to paint like one layer on the greenery and then I'll go back in and add some like shadows and some more color to them to give them more depth. Oh, um, my, my most recent art business video premiered yesterday and it was about uh, 14 ways to make money with your art in your art business and it seems like you guys really liked that video anyways but I was even I don't even know what I was gonna say so bad at this talking and painting I'm sorry if this is like super boring anyway so I think my next art business video is going to be about craft like doing craft fairs or doing like markets and like how to um, find good ones and maybe my like things I've learned and stuff like that so let me know what you think of that video idea and if there's any other types of art business videos that you want to see from me um, I know some of you mentioned about like building an audience um, that is something that I have been really working on these last, I guess I should say, like, two and a half years. 
but um, it's something that I've really, really have been working on and putting more effort into the like the last few months. There have been a lot of things I've learned, so maybe that's a video I can do. Gosh, I'm so sorry. This camera keeps like, I keep not like, making sure it's in focus. I'm sorry guys. 